Shalom. Welcome back to Kabbalah Yoga. Today we're here to explore the sacral energy that is the center of sexuality and creativity that exists within our life. We have with us a good friend of mine, Albert Bissana, who is here to share with us his thoughts. Albert, how are you doing today? I'm doing well, Aldi. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so me. much for being here. Albert, is there such a thing in our yoga practice to feel this sensuality within ourselves? Yes. <laughs> yoga for me is sensuality. It's connecting to the body. It's connecting to that current, that flow, uh, that warm current that is the body. Right? It's the, really the essence of sensuality. When the body is tense and contracted, the body feels fragmented. Yoga brings us to a feeling of union, of, of being comfortable in our own bodies and of release, which in other words we could call a sensual, sensual relationship. The, the Hebrew word for the sacral energy is yesod. Uh, we've had this discussion. Yeah, it has the word yes in it. And it's yes. <laughs> it means yes, od. <laughs> yes, od. Uh -huh. <laughs> but the yesod, exact definition, means essence. And the essence of life is that is the reproduction of life. Mm -hmm. That is the creativity of life. Mm -hmm. This is what makes mm -hmm. us like God in this world, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. what the Creator expects us to be: to produce, mm -hmm. to bring more life, mm -hmm. allow more souls to continue mm -hmm. in this in this world. Mm -hmm. And in this way, sexuality is physical and spiritual. Mm -hmm. Physical in a sense that we have two individuals who come together and become one flesh, one mm -hmm. soul, mm -hmm. spiritual because of the love and the passion and the fire that's produced by having this sacred union together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well it brings me back again to what you were saying earlier about loving ourselves. Because if we can't love ourselves then naturally what we're looking for in the relationship is to fulfill that that lack, that feeling that void, of need. Yeah. But when we can tune in to what happens within us, how, how rich we are within, then we develop a sense of security and we're, we can offer that open space of unconditional love. Yeah. But if not, if we can't tune in to what's happening within us, you know, through self-love, through the practice of self-sensuality, through the practice of yoga or of prayer, then we'll always be very f afraid of the intensity of the energies that move through our body, especially the sacral energies. So please take out your mats and let's do the flow of yes, so reaching into the sacral energy and feeling very intimate with your own self. See you in a moment. <laughs> 